All right, we are we are now at Caesarea Philippi. Uh, there was another Caesarea, uh, Maritima, which meant Caesarea by the sea. So uh, they came up here, called it Caesarea. There was some confliction because there's uh, two names. So they would uh, uh, King Herod Philip, Herod Philip, uh, one of Herod's sons, um, called it Caesarea of Philip, Caesarea Philippi. And this is the farthest north that. Jesus ever went. This is right next to Dan. We know Dan to Beersheba. This is right next to Dan. So we're at uh, Caesarea Philippi. The, the main story that took place here is in Matthew chapter 16. And in verse 13, Jesus gives his disciples a pop quiz. He says, uh, who do men say that I am? And so the disciples start answering. Some say you're, you're uh, uh, Jeremiah. Some say you're, you're John the Baptist. Some say you're Elijah. And then Jesus turns it on them. He says, but who do you say? that I am. And of all people, uh, Peter, the, the disciple with the foot-shaped mouth, always sticking his foot in his mouth, he gets it right. He says, you are the Messiah. You are the Son of God. And Jesus says this. He, he says, blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood did not reveal that, reveal that to you, but my Father who's in heaven. And he makes that awesome quote. He says, and, and your name is Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. Now what's interesting, back in, in the ancient days, they believed that cave to be called the gates of hell. Uh, that if you went in there, it reach all the way to hell. We have no idea if that's what Jesus was talking about when he said, upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. We don't know if that's what he was talking about or not. But that's where Peter actually gets it right. But then right away after that, we see Peter then gets it wrong. Uh, Jesus then tells the disciples, I am on my way to Jerusalem now to die, to be killed. And Peter said, no, you're not going to die for us. You're not going to be killed. And it's there, Peter, who got it right first, uh, gets it wrong here. And Jesus says, Peter, uh, you, you get behind me, Satan. So in one instance, he gets it right. The other instance, he's being called Satan. And so that's, that's Peter in a nutshell, getting it right one day, getting it wrong the next. And then right after this, uh, Matthew chapter 17, the Bible says, And Jesus left this place and went to a great high mountain, and on that mountain he was transfigured. That's why we believe uh, Mount Hermon, which is, this is the foot of Mount Hermon. Mount Hermon goes another 6,000 feet up. We're, we're going to see it from a distance. We believe that's where Jesus went uh, to be transfigured. So we're going to get a look around here at the northernmost point of Israel that we're going to be traveling on this trip.